Hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. It is good to see you all. It has, uh, it has been a hot minute yet again. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I have been, uh, I've been wanting to come back to streaming for, for a while. Uh, especially after uh, being on a break again. Uh, and I decided, you know what? I should just, I should just go for it. You know, why, uh, why wait any longer? So I said, I'm just going to go for it. It's been a while, so, uh, I've, I've maybe forgotten a little bit on, uh, <laughs> how to stream, but what's a stream without a little bit of, uh, a little bit of scuff. Hello. Hello, Sammy. It's good to see you. Uh, as for what we will be doing, uh, we're doing something completely different than what I normally uh, do. Uh, I think part of what happened with me is one, I had some health stuff. Some health stuff, some IRL stuff that made it difficult for me to stream. Uh, which was unfortunate. But also, I kind of burned out. I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I think I was doing so much of the same kind of game that I think it kind of just got to me, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I was like... I was playing so many platformers, which I love. I love platformers, 2D platformers, especially 3D platformers, comfy games. Like I love playing them, but I think I was just playing them so much that I kind of got like, I don't know. I, I, didn't, I won't say I got sick of them, but I almost kind of like just didn't want to play games, uh, which is silly. I could have just like done something different, uh, but I just kind of got in my own head, I guess. Uh so I've decided to do something totally different uh, and play Pokemon. Uh, I've never played through Gen 1 or 2. I played Gen 3 when I was really young. Hello, Striker. It's so good to see you. Plum, you can't just be popping into my life like this. I know. I'm sorry. It's so good to see you, though. Um, yeah, I'm happy to see you. Uh, I was just talking about uh, why I haven't been here uh, again. Uh, every time I'm gone, it's it's safe to assume that if I'm gone, there there's probably some health stuff or IRL stuff keeping me out. But I am I am back uh, on a random Sunday evening. Uh, but I was saying I, I kind of got a little burnt out, uh, I think as well on top of the other more serious stuff. I think I kind of just got burnt out, uh, which is unfortunate. I shouldn't have done that because I, I do really love streaming, but I need to do something, but I needed to play something different. And so I've decided I'm going to play Pokemon because, uh, I really like the IP, uh, and I love the music and the characters and the designs, but I've never really played much of it. Uh, which is kind of crazy because I, I know so many people who like have played like all the games and I've never played most of them. <laughs> so I'm going to play some Pokemon. Also, I've been watching a lot of uh, Pokemon content creators. Uh, such as Small Ant. Shout out to Small Ant. He's really entertaining. Uh, and I've been watching so much of him playing Pokemon that I was like, I need to play Pokemon. Like, on, I need to like sit down and play it. Uh, but yeah, with that, we should jump into it.
All right. How is that volume? Hopefully it sounds okay. And hopefully I sound okay. But now would be a good time to tell me if something is off. Oh my gosh, this game came out 20 years ago. Let's not think about that. We don't we don't we don't want to think about that. <laughs> game could be a touch quieter. Okay. I can do that. Okay, I have turned it down ever so slightly. Okay, I do know the controls. I think we'll be okay on that. In the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. You know, I was about to say, this sounds like good advice for, like, just real life. I except for part of that last second to last sentence. Hopefully you don't get attacked by wild creatures often. Through your adventure, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That is our biggest objective. Press the A button and let your adventure begin. Wow, that's a pretty good intro. Like, it's simple, but that was like a nice little little speech. Hello there. I'm glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Now tell me. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Let's begin with your name. What is it? I'm going to go with Plum, but canonically this character's name is Red, right? Oh, I can do lowercase. Right. So your name is Plum. Yes. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you both were babies. Wow. Really? Since birth? Uh, what was his name now? Oh, it's for, oh, Professor Oak. He's your grandson. Okay. We need a name for the rival. We need something good. What should we call him? I need, like, the opposite of plum. What, what's the opposite of plum? Either fruit or color. Let me look. Uh... Let's see, according to this, Sage Green is the opposite of 
plum. Is that true? I don't know if that is. But you know what? It sounds fitting. We'll name him Sage. Or uh, was it Sage? Yeah, sure. That's right, I remember now. His name is Sage. It is it. Plum. Your very own Pokémon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokémon awaits. Let's go. Would I like to save? I would. Okay. Perfect. And now we go to sleep. How unlucky I'm lagging. No, Rafter. Mailbox. There is no mail. Item storage? Hey. Are there items in here? There's a whole potion. I get a potion. Wow. Is this a NES? Plum played with the NES. Oh, it is. Okay, it's time to go. Well, all right. Posted notice. If you're confused, ask for help. Press the L or R button. What should I be doing? Oh, okay. I thought it was going to give me, like, contextual clues, but I think it just gives you, like, a general... Right. All boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Oh, yes. Professor Oak, next door, was looking for you. Oh, okay. Well, see you, Mom. Ah, uh, pallet down. This is not... It... She said next door. Hi, Plum. My brother Sage is out at Grandpa's lab. Okay. They, they said next door. So I, I kind of... Sure, she said next door, so I kind of assume she meant... That building next, next to us. I study Pokemon as Professor Oak's aide. Professor Oak may not look like much, but he's the authority on Pokemon. Many Pokemon trainers hold him in high regard. I study Pokemon as Professor Oak's aide. Oh, okay. What? It's only Plum? <laughs> okay, wow, rude. Gramps isn't around. Okay. Those are Pokeballs. They contain Pokemon. I just... Was... That not what I was supposed to do? Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items in Pokemon as data. As the data via PC. Okay, maybe that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Hmm, is that right? Oh, look, look. Trainer tips. Press start to open the menu. Signs are useful, aren't they? That they are. Okay, I'm just going to try to leave and see if someone stops me. Hey, wait! Don't go out! Well, you weren't in your lab, so I was like, well, guess I'll leave. It's unsafe! Wild Pokémon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokémon for your protection. I know, here, come with me! Oh, are we going to your lab? The world of Pokemon's kind of scary when you can't even, like, walk out of, like, your little village without getting, like, mauled by wild animals. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Sage? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Plum. There are three Pokemon here. Haha. -ha. The Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. 
When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Sage. You can have one, too. This is kind of crazy that he lets the, like, the neighbor kid pick before his own grandson. I see. Bulbasaur is your choice. It's very easy to raise. You want to go with the grass Pokemon Bulbasaur? I believe I do. I think I do want to pick Bulbasaur. I, I feel like all three are good choices. Um, I, I don't. I really know nothing about this game, so I don't even know what the first gyms are. Hopefully, it's not like a fire gym, or else I'm gonna regret picking this. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. Bum received the Bulbasaur from Professor Oak. Do you want to give a nickname to this Bulbasaur? Yes. We need to give him a name. Um... What, what should we name him? Maybe, uh... Like a, like a planty name. I already named the... I just realized I already named my rival a planty name. Uh... Can name him Seed? Vine? No. I gotta think. What's a good name for, for our Bulbasaur? Hmm. We can name... You know what? We'll name him Seed. That's a cute name. He's tiny, but he has a lot of potential. I'll take this one, then. Sage received the Charmander. Well, he's gonna have a Charizard. My Pokémon looks a lot tougher than yours. Okay, thanks. That's Professor Oak's last Pokémon. If a wild Pokémon appears, your Pokémon can battle it. With it at your side, you should be able to reach the next town. Oh. Alright, I guess we just leave. No, we don't. Wait, Plum, let's check out our Pokémon. Come on, I'll take you on. I hope I have a good nature. Rival Sage would like to battle. Rival Sage sent out Charmander. You don't say. Alright, Seed. Oh, for Pete's sake. So pushy as always. Plum, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? Pokemon battles when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. Rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Inflicting damage on the foe is the key to any battle. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Can I use... I don't want to lose this fight. It's important to get to know your Pokémon thoroughly. This is a list of Pokémon. Open this to check the skills and moves. Okay. I would like to use a potion. I don't want to lose to my rival. Keep your eyes on your Pokémon's HP. It will faint if the HP drops to zero. Well, it's probably not going to happen now. If I had to guess. I 
I gained 69 XP. And grew to level 6. I'm gonna guess I have special defense up. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokémon! Well, I mean, I kind of cheated by healing mid-battle, and you didn't. Hmm, excellent! If you win, you earn prize money, and your Pokémon will grow! Battle other trainers and make your Pokémon strong. Okay, I'll make my Pokémon battle to toughen it up. Plum Gramps, smell you later. Alright, see you later. Raise your young Pokémon by making it battle. It has to battle for it to grow. Uh... Let's check its nature. Alright. Perhaps careful. That definitely sounds like a defensive up nature. Uh... I actually don't know what any of the Pokémon natures are except, like, Adamant, so I'm going to look real quick to see what that means. He is careful. Special attack down, special defense up. Um... Is Bulbasaur a physical or special attacker? Wait, does that not... that doesn't matter in this game, does it? I don't think that matters in Gen 1. Oh well. Either way, I'm, I, I'm... I'm keeping him. We're leaving it where it lies. I think I already saved, but I'm doing it again anyways. Uh... I'm at full health, right? I am. Alright, I guess we're just gonna go out into the grass. Oh, what a catchy song. Hi, I work at Pokemon Mart. At a Pokemon Mart. It's part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. Hey, another potion. It's like I never used the one earlier. Are you just enjoying a walk? Oh. It's a Rattata! Only one option. We pave the path forward with violence. In Pokemon. This song is so catchy. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. Alright, that should get us to level 7. Oh, I learned Leech Seed. Ah, uh, classic RPGs. Random encounters. I don't think I have any Pokeballs, do I? 
Sure don't. You know what? I should be setting up with Leech Seed to maintain my, my health. I mean, I'm only healing for one, but you know how it is. Oh, a crit! Health's getting a little low. I have a potion. Viridian City cannot be that hard. Okay, my defense fell. That'll be fun when I get tackled in a second. It lowered my defense again. It's gonna be really, really fun when I get tackled if I don't KO it soon. Okay, we're good. Thank goodness it spent that whole time setting up. Could jump down, but I don't think there was an item, so there's no reason. Hey, we made it to Viridian City. The battle moves of Pokemon are limited by their power points. PP. To replenish PP, rest your tired Pokemon at a Pokemon Center. Pokemon Centers heal your tired, hurt, or fainted Pokemon. They make all Pokemon completely healthy. There's a Pokemon Center in every town. They charge no money. Wait, what do you say? They charge no money, so don't be shy about healing Pokemon. Please feel free to use that PC in the corner. The receptionist told me so. So kind of her. What's upstairs? This is for multiplayer connection stuff. Okay. Yeah, I was like, no thank you. <laughs> you want to know about the two kinds of Caterpillar Pokemon? That would be Caterpie. Yeah, Caterpie and Weedle. Okay, yeah. I knew that. Watch out your Pokemon aren't stabbed by Weedle's Poison Sting. Free Poke Care, but if some kid blacks out in the woods, he's got to wake up and run back to town on his own. Yeah, I... They don't really talk much about the, like, wider world of Pokemon. But I've always found it interesting, because I've heard it's, like, a crazy place. Those, uh, it's great that you can carry and use Pokemon anytime, anywhere. Like, isn't it in this game? Isn't one of the Pokemon, like, gym leaders... Isn't he, like, a war veteran? Like, doesn't... Isn't there, like, a lot of, like... Implications that there was, like, a big war? You know what? I should go in here. Like, I kind of want to know more about that. Like, what happened? Hey, you came from Pallet Town. Because it's like, if there was a war, like, who was it between? 
You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Was I told to do this? I don't think I was told to do this. You never know when your Pokemon will need healing. Yeah, uh... I, I feel like... Okay, I, can I not shop? Okay. I guess I can not shop. I... I just have to go be... Uh... A delivery... A delivery person, that's fine. I cannot run. I, th I think you have to, like, unlock running in this game. Hopefully I get that soon. Silly Flum, you can't show off as an indentured servant. Yeah, apparently not. I just I just wanted to, to look around, I mean. Is that so so bad? Oh Plum, how is my old Pokemon? It's been like five minutes. Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Unfortunately I do. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order, thank you. Gramps. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? All right, I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen, or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Plum and Sage, take these with you. I received the Pokedex. Also, he gave it to me first again. You can't get detailed data on Pokémon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokémon. Five whole Pokéballs. When a wild Pokémon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokéball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokémon can escape. You have to be lucky to make a complete guide on all the Pokémon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two! This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps, leave it all to me. Plum, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Plum. Ha ha ha. Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Okay. That was a little rude. Can I just get one from you? Pokemon around the world wait for you, Plum. Okay, never mind. I guess I will... ...see if I can get a map. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. I received a town map from Daisy. Oh, well, that was convenient. We will take a moment to save, and then we'll take a look at this map. Because I actually don't know what it looks like. A uh, bag. A map. Alright, so I'm here in Palatown. Okay, that's Victory Road. What's this? Oh, I guess that's just another way to close it. Well, we'll, uh... We'll register it for now. I don't know if I'm really gonna need it. This map's pretty straightforward. I was, don't know what I was expecting. How many Pokemon will we run into on the way back to Viridian City? I'm gonna guess two. I'm gonna guess zero, actually, my bad. <laughs> Can I shop now? Do you know I delivered that package somehow? 
Hi there, may I help you? Okay. Paralyze Heal Antidote Potion. Um, Let's get a couple more Pokeballs. Let's get ten more. Did I get a free one? I did not. Hello, Silver. Let's see. Hi, Plum. Just starting out this run for the most part? Yes, I have pretty much just started. Uh, I'm only just gotten into Viridian City for the second time after dropping off uh, the parcel to Professor Oak. This is also my first time playing this game. I know surprisingly little about it. Ooh, I'm trying to memorize all my notes. Uh, you know, I probably don't need to read that. I know I just said I don't really know much about this game, but... I probably don't need to read it. This is the way to Victory Road, right? I assume if I go this way, I'm going to get stopped by something. Hey, another potion! But yeah, it's good to see you, Silver. How are you doing? really wish I could run. Maybe someone will just give me the running shoes. Coming up with nicknames is fun, but it's not easy to do. Clever names are nice, but simple names are easy to remember. Doing good, just got home from work. Do I mind any backseating? Uh, I would prefer not to have any, unless I ask for it, which... There's a, there's a good chance I will. Uh, but I would prefer not to have any until I ask for it. There's a good chance I'll end up asking for it at some point. Especially if I get lost. I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest when I go. Okay. Well, now I've had my coffee, and that's what I need to get going. What is that red box you have? Are you talking about the Pokedex? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? Suppose I better show you then. Okay, I guess I'm doing a tutorial. Okay, this is, uh, this is playing on its own. <laughs> I'm watching a movie. Imagine if that had been a shiny. That would have been pretty funny. <laughs> Cap, old man has no Pokemon and hasn't keeled over. Yeah, how does he not have a Pokemon? Well, I guess he's not leaving town. I guess you don't need him if you never leave. There, now tell me, that was educational, was it not? And here, take this too. The Teachy TV. If there's something you don't understand, watch that. It will teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Oh, okay. Pretty sure that it got taken out in this remake, but this is actually tied to the missing no glitch in the Game Boy Classic version. Oh. Interesting. I guess you could say his plot armor was grandfathered in. You know what? That was a good one. This Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. It's closed? Trainer tips. Catch Pokemon, expand your collection. The more you have, the easier it is. Okay. And this is just saying it's Route 2. Okay. 
bet the gym leader left to get milk. How can there be a gym that's never open? Like, aren't these things run by some type of, like, government body? Like, wouldn't they step in? Rattata may be small, but it... But don't underestimate its wicked bite. Have you caught one? No. I have not. Are you going to Viridian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Be careful you don't get lost. I do only have one Pokemon right now. Hello, doggy! Thank you for the hydrate. And the posture check. I don't have any water. Uh, I should get some. But hello, doggy. It's good to see you. You what? I, <laughs> I know. I don't have any water. I will get some. We will... I'll be right back. I'll just leave it. Uh, I'll be back in like... 30 seconds. I'm going to get some water. We can listen to this uh, ominous music. I have returned, and I have water now. And I have hydrated. Okay, let's talk to this person. I came here with some friends to catch us some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get into some Pokemon battles. I'm gonna just pick a direction. Never mind. I see a item. It's a Caterpie! I'm gonna try to catch one just to catch one. I don't think I'm gonna run a Caterpie. But I should catch it anyways. You know what, I probably don't need to get lower its health. Like level 4. Caterpie's data was added to the Pokedex. Its short feet are tipped with suction pads that enable it to tirelessly climb slopes and walls. Give a nickname? You know what? Why not? Uh, Caterpie turns into Butterfree, so we'll give it a nice name. You know what? It's a butterfly. Butterflies like nectar. We'll name her Nectar. Hopefully I spelled that right. I found a Pokeball! Metapod first, then Butterfree. Oh. Correct. I. You are right. I did skip a step there. A Pikachu! Is Pikachu a low percentage chance to appear here? Five percent. Okay. You know what? I probably can throw out a tackle. Thunder shock. Doesn't that paralyze? It. It does. It, it does do that. 
You know what? We're just going to throw another Pokeball. Well, I caught it! <laughs> when several of these Pokémon gather, their electricity can build and cause lightning storms. Give a nickname to the captured Pikachu? You know what? Yes. Um... We'll name him... We'll name him Static. Which was a great cartoon when I was younger. I'm... Paralyzed, right? Yes, that is persistent, right? Okay, I... I should go heal, so I'm not paralyzed forever. <sighs> I, you know what? It's not that bad of a walk, I guess. Weird to be so early on that it has its default cry instead of the anime voice. You know what? That's true. It actually made the Pikachu like noise. I should go heal, so I'm not paralyzed forever. Sounds very messed up outside of Pokemon. You know... Only in Pokemon. Oh, I could have gone around. Yeah, you know what? It's okay. I wasn't punished. Um, did I already explore everything up here? Or poison, use antidote. Get it at Pokemon Marts. I did not do that. That would have been pretty smart, though. Trainer tips. If your Pokemon are weak and you want to avoid battles, stay away from grassy areas. Ooh, an item. It's a potion. I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon, and I ran out. That's why you can never have too many. That person looks like they want to fight. Um... I should... I guess I should get, get some XP. I, I should get more XP. I'm looking for... Uh, what was it? Weedle? I would like to get a... a bee drill. I guess I'll fight this person, too. Hey, you have Pokemon! Come on, let's battle them. Alright. Okay, Bug Catcher Rick. Hey, it's a Beetle! We'll set up with a leech seed. So I can heal up.
All right, I'm going to be going second forever. All right, that should that should do it. Perfect. I'm not gonna lie, um, I was just thinking about this. I've gotten... I, I pretty much have only played Pokemon really in the generation with EXP share. Um, so I'm kind of used to it. But <laughs> I'm playing in Gen 1, so I actually, like, need to... I kind of have to, like, grind on, like grind with all of my Pokemon to level them up. I think there's one in this, but it's late game and works different. Oh, interesting. No, Caterpie can't hack it. I mean, literally a caterpillar. You also look like you would like to fight. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. What does that mean? <laughs> Bug catcher Doug. You know, a fire starter would be really nice right now. That's okay, though. need to be leech seeding every time. That should do it. Level 10. This feels like a level where I'd get a, a new move. I did. I learned Vine Whip. Kakuna. I will not. I will not be changing Pokemon. Types of resistance against grass? Yes. <laughs> the answer is obviously yes. Okay. Back to tackling.
All right, he's just drawing out the fight. Oh my goodness, it's going to get up to plus six. Please, Kakuna, give up. You're only making... You're only making this take longer. Yep, it's a plus six. All right. Oh, a crit. Thank goodness. I, I was worried we were going to be there for like another minute. Huh? I ran out of Pokemon. Trainer tips. Contact Professor Oak via PC to get your Pokedex evaluated. An antidote. I still haven't gotten... Uh... Gotten the Pokemon I wanted yet. It's over here. Do you know the Pokemon Evolve? Uh, please don't have, like, three Kakunas. Bugcatcher Charlie! <laughs> well, I said Kakuna. It's not a Kakuna. Oh my gosh. He doesn't have three Metapods. Right, chat? He's, he's not going to have three Metapods, is he? I'm going to run out of... I don't want to, like, run out of moves. Oh, an ad has started. I did not notice that. You know I'm going to tackle again. And you know he's going to use Harden again. That's the way it works. I have... I have used up so many... Uh, I've used so many of my tackles. I There's a real chance I'm going to run out of offensive moves. I could... Well, no, I could change Pokemon. Why don't I do that? Don't, don't be another Metapod. Caterpie! You know what? Maybe I will change Pokemon. You know what? Static, you've got this. I believe. You are level 3, and this thing is level 7. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. I'm probably going to have to switch. Or... Maybe not. Alright, we need to switch. Alright, we'll send out Nectar. We'll let Nectar get a little XP, too. I really need to get back to, like, a Pokémon Center. I missed. Okay, I think I have one more in me. Okay, we have to switch. I really need to get to a Pokemon Center. I only have four left. Here comes the Metapod. Okay. 
We are gonna leech seed. We need it, even if it's not very effective. We need every little bit of damage we can get. We've got three tackles before we have to start using Vine Whip. our last tackle it missed how did it how did i miss it's stationary all right it's time to vine whip bruh hello alaska it's good to see you how are you doing yeah, that was a... That whole fight was like a bra moment. I... It's just like how self-destruct can mix. Yeah, it makes no sense. Uh, okay, I don't know what I should do. Um, I need to get to a Pokemon Center. And I don't know where I'm going. I... Oh, there's going to be another trainer battle. I can't go this way. Hey, a Weedle. I was looking for one of these. In the Pokeball. Okay. Let's run that one back into the Pokeball. All right. Weedle, the hairy bug Pokemon? Where? Where's, where, what, where, where is the hair? I'm confused. Often found in forests, eating leaves. It has a sharp stinger on its head that injects poison. <laughs> How is that the hairy Pokemon? Uh, you know what? We'll name you... We'll name you Sting. I have to go back. I, I simply don't think I have it in me to do another trainer battle. In fact, we're ca getting to the point where I'm going to have to start running from wild Pokemon. <sighs> but I'm so close to a level. What if I learn a new offensive move? Okay, I'm going to beat this Caterpie just so I can find out if I get an offensive move. But what if I don't? Well, that would be unfortunate. Crit would have been nice there. You know what? We'll take the miss. Level 12. I did not learn a new move. All right, now we have to run from battles. Uh, I guess we'll just look around. Maybe we're almost to a new... Maybe we're almost to the new town. Oh, no.
Wait, wait. Okay, I was already here. I have to get back to town. Well, what? I might be really close. Okay, wait. I was going the right way to... Clearly the way I was going was towards the exit. Which probably spits me out near a town, if I had to guess. But... As much as I don't want to do it, I have to go back. Uh, I, I don't have the offensive power to handle another trainer, because, like, what if he has... What if that buttcatcher has, like, three Pokémon? I, I wouldn't be able to handle it. Yeah, three more Metapods? Like, my worst nightmare. What I want to know is, when do I get the ability to sprint? Alright, I'm going to, really quick... ...switch... ...uh... Switch scene for just one second. We'll be I'll be going right back to it. Don't you worry. Look, we're back. Okay. I'm going to try something. That didn't do anything. Okay. We're going to save. <laughs> and... Switch back over really quick. Give me one second. And we're back. Hello, Heron. Oh. Really? It, why did it do that? That, that one was not intention, intended. Oh, there we go. Uh, don't ask how my completely legitimate... Uh, Game Boy Advance that I'm screen capturing is able to do this. I wish it didn't... Uh, make... It go mute when it does this. But hey, we're back! It's a miracle. I might be little, but I won't like it if you go easy on me. I, I didn't really want to spend the time walking through all that. Yes, I'm overclocking my authentic Game Boy Advance. Okay, I went with Bulbasaur because I really like Bulbasaur. Uh, be honest with me, uh, chat. Did I pick the, like... I know for sure, especially with a game that's 20-plus years old, 
This this whole game's probably like solved. Did I pick the wrong starter? <laughs> Like obviously you can you can beat this game with any Pokemon, I'm sure. With like the right time items strategy. But I'm I, I guarantee that there's like a preferred starter and like a least preferred starter. Uh uh for like effectiveness in the early game. Did I pick the wrong one for that? Actually literally the best. Oh, Really? That's that's actually really surprising. I'm a big fan of Bulbasaur, like design-wise and typing-wise. I just I just like Bulbasaur. I would have guessed that, uh, like Charmander would be the right choice. Literally, the first two gyms will be right up here. Like, oh, well, that's good news. We need to save our our pee pee, so we will not be uh, we will not be engaging with a a weedle. You deal with a lot of bugs, but there are still so few bug moves in these gens with these Pokemon. Charmander is the worst for the first two gyms, really. Oh wait a minute, I know that. I forgot. The first two gym leaders are Brock and Misty, right? Rock and water. Never mind. Makes perfect sense. I, uh, I know that because of the cartoon. Slash anime, depending on what you want to call it. If you were to ask me who the third gym leader is, uh... I would have no idea. You can't catch Pokemon that belongs to someone else. Unless, of course, you belong to Team Rocket. In which case, we ignore that. Hey, wait up. What's the hurry? Why the rush? Bugcatcher Sammy. It's a Weedle. You know what's funny? I wonder if I could have handled this without going back. I had, like, what, seven Vine Whips left? Or I utilized the key item, the replay of action. It's also true. There are many ways I could have done that. In Gen 2, Totodile was awesome, because it could counter water types with Ice Fang. I think I have heard people saying that. In Gen 2, it's like, it's between Totodile and Cyndaquil, right? I remember hearing at some point that Chikorita not very useful in Gen 2. Also, I forget, does Bulbasaur start as half poison because that negates some disadvantages? You know what? I don't know. We'll find... I think it does. I... Th it does! It's grass poison all the way through. All right, we'll fight it. Let's get to level 13. Uh, depending on how this goes, like uh, how how I enjoy it, how you enjoy it, chat, uh, depending on how it goes, I might keep, keep doing this. Like, I might keep doing other Pokemon games because uh, I haven't played uh, the second gen either, so. I might play uh, Soul Silver like after this, if we all have a good time. 
Leaving Viridian Forest. Pewter City ahead. Okay, this is... This is Brock. Right? Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. <laughs> it's called cut. Do you know the evolution cancel technique? Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to be persistent and look everywhere to get different kinds. I like I haven't saved for a hot minute. I've heard a lot of people say that, like, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, like, are their favorites. So it might be kind of fun to play that one, like, after I beat this one. Trainer tips. All Pokemon that appear in battle, however briefly, earn XP. Good to know. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug- they're all like bug catchers, you know. Just hobbyists. The Pewter City's Pewter Gym's Brock isn't like that. Not one bit. That was kind of that was kind of rude to just call all bug catchers just hobbyists. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon, huh? I'm on the phone to scram. Oh. I really want a Pikachu, so I'm trading my Clefairy for one. Oh, I thought he was going to offer me a trade. I'm trading Pokemon with that kid there. I had two Pikachu, so I figured I might as well trade one. Hi, glad to meet you. That's unfriendly of you. How about saying hi back? So come on, tell me about yourself. I'd love to hear your profile. Tell me something good about yourself. What's your profile? Yes, no info? Oh. Okay. That was a really... I am a Pokemon friend. Oh, you decided not to? You're a fic Wait, didn't I just say yes? Okay, well, that was, that was odd. Yawn. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. <laughs> Alright. Well. May as well explore all the houses. Maybe we'll get something cool. Never played the remake. A lot of people like Silver Gold because it has some quality of life and staple features that stay for years. With a little bit of texture from early janky mechanics that got, that got balanced out. Interesting. I've heard it has a... Like, a lot of content. Like, like the post-game is a lot. Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow, but some moves must be top. A Pokemon becomes easier to catch if it has a status problem. Sleep, poison, burn, or paralysis. These are all effective. But catching Pokemon is never... Oh, shoot. It's never a sure thing. Much like finishing that sentence. Do you know what I'm doing? Uh, no. I'm spraying Repel to keep all Pokemon out of my garden. You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me. Oh. Alright. I... I'm being... I'm being forced to go this way. What's with this, uh, like, little march? Heart Gold and Soul Silver taught us that hopping across two regions is cool. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. Well, I kind of wanted to keep exploring. Well, Fairy came from the moon. That's what the rumor is. They appeared after Moonstones fell on Mount Moon. It really feels like something should have been up there. What is this? Pewter Museum of Science. A big building. 
Would I like to come in? I guess. I don't know what this is all about. Let's see. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think I would get to see the bones of a dragon. Aerodactyl fossil. A primitive and rare Pokemon. Kabuto fossil. A primitive and rare Pokemon. I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch one. Yeah, Pikachu soon. I promise. Space Shuttle. This month, we're running a space exhibit. Moonstone, huh? What's so special about it? Looks like an ordinary rock to me. July 20th, 1969. Humankind first set foot on the moon that day. I bought a color TV just so I could watch that news. Wait a minute. Isn't that like when we... Right, okay. If I remember correctly... Pokemon Gen 1 and 2 are kind of weird because in Gen 1 and 2 they hadn't figured out quite what they were like they were doing yet with the like the world. Is that right? So like Gen 1 and 2 take place in like a different world than Gen 3 onwards. I, I remember hearing that or reading that at one point. That like Gen 1 and 2 take place in Japan. Like, it's a fantasy alternate universe Japan. But, like, in Gen 1 and 2, it it's like a a version of Japan where Pokemon also exist. But I, I think I remember hearing that, like, animals also exist. Like, normal animals exist in, like, Gen 1 and 2. A meteorite that fell on Mount Moon. It is thought to be a moonstone. I could be uh, completely wrong on that, by the way. But I, I feel like I've heard that. I mean, Kanto is an actual region, so that's not far off for Gen 1. And yes, that is the U.S. moon landing. Okay. So maybe that theory is right. Uh, maybe it's not. Who knows? Anything interesting? Our Pokemon's an outsider, so it's finicky and hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokemon that you get in a, a trade. I've never heard them referred to as outsiders. It grows fast, but it may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. Only we had badges. And I don't have cut. So I can't go into that building. Did you check out the museum? I did! Weren't those fossils from Mount Moon amazing? They sure were. So clearly Pokemon equivalent to Aldrin, Shepard, and Armstrong saw a Clefairy. Apparently. Apparently they did. The things can happen if you raise a Pokemon diligently. Even the weak ones can surprise you if you don't give up. A shady old guy sucked me into buying this weird fish Pokemon. That sentence was kind of weird. It's totally weak, and it costs $500. We can buy repels now. Hmm. I have 11 Pokeballs. Ah, oh, shoot. I have three... Potions. I have one antidote. I don't have a paralyzed heal. Let's buy at least one. Do I have any awakenings? No. We'll buy at least one. Don't have any burn heals. We'll buy one. We should have an escape rope in case things get real bad. And, uh, we can't buy a Repel now. Okay, great. <laughs> Have I explored everything in the city? Uh, I feel like I have. I assume if I... 
try to go past that guy again, I assume he's going to drag me off to go fight Brock. Is he still there? Yeah, he is. Uh, am I... Am I at the right level? I guess there's only one way to find out. We will save before we go in, and uh, I guess we'll we'll see what happens. And if I uh, lose, then I guess I'll go grind in the forest. Aya, do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Yeah, sure. All right, let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in a match is at the left. Okay, we know that. All right. Oh, I don't have to fight him. Uh, you know what? It's good for XP. Stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Camper Liam. It's a Geodude! It was a Geodude! That was easy. Okay, I think we're going to be okay. Level 14! Darn! Light years isn't time, it's me it measures distance! I guess we take on Brock. So, you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock-hard willpower is evident, even in my Pokémon. My Pokémon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. I didn't need to know, but <laughs> you know, I don't need to know that your Pokémon are rock hard. That's right, my Pokémon are all the rock type. Fwahaha, you're gonna challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's a trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best. I will not. All right, Onyx. All right, this is going to be easy. And we're done. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I expected that to be more of a challenge. Trying to learn Poison Powder. Yes. We'll get rid of Growl. Nice. Oh! I could learn both? I mean, these both seem kind of useful. I don't think I can... I I don't think I can drop... Vine... Or I don't think I should drop Tackle, though. There's just not enough... There's not enough PP on Vine Whip. Uh, is Poison Powder better than Sleep Powder? And I want to keep Leech Seed, because it just seems useful. Uh... 
chat, what do you think? Poison powder or sleep powder? I feel like I want to keep poison powder. I, I feel like combining leech seed with poison powder is a nice little, uh, little, like, D.O.T. It, it feels like that would be a nice little combo to run for now. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to give up on sleep powder. And hopefully I don't regret that. Yes. There's like, you can relearn moves anyways, right? I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. Of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. And I got 1,400 Poke Dollars. Wait, take this with you. TM39. A TM technical machine contains a technique for Pokemon. Using a TM teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. It is good for only one use. So when you use one, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, it contains Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. Okay. Just as I thought, you're a Pokemon. You're a Pokemon champ material. Thank you, random hype guy. I appreciate it. Well, I guess we'll go, uh... Stop by the Pokemon Center, and, uh, I guess then we, we leave. Poison can't be recovered, so it might be better. A lot more rolls involved with using sleep and getting it to stick. That, you know what, that's, that's fair. Okay, so I think I made the right choice. Hopefully that guy will let us pass now. He's not even there. Oh, Plum! I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. Running shoes, oh my goodness. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye-bye. There's a letter attached. Dear Plum, here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved Challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From Mom. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was from Professor Oak for a second. And I was like, Professor Oak? You're, you're, it's kind of weird how you're talking to me. I don't know if I like it. But it's Mom, so it's okay. <laughs> Especially because it said it came from Professor Oak's aide. I was like... Why is Professor Oak talking to me like that? Oh my goodness, we can run. It's such an improvement. Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? Oh my gosh. And that's all it takes, now we're getting into battle. Lass Janus. It's a Pidgey. I think this is the first time I've seen a Pidgey in battle, right? Let's see what a Tackle does. Ah, uh, don't... don't do that. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, 
You know what? We'll just keep using Tackle. We're fine. We're not fine. We are not okay. You're mean. <laughs> you attacked me! <laughs> Alright, anyways, we're going back to go heal. Alright, watch out for Pidgeys. Understood. Watch out for flying moves. Alright. On the road again. And doing fine. Alright. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. Did you? Bugcatcher Colton. I don't remember seeing you. Anyways, I guess we're just gonna tackle. Level 16. And a Weedle. You know what? It's not a Metapod, so we'll take it. We will... Use a tackle. Caterpie, okay. Oh, a crit. Nice. What? Seed is evolving. Nice. Let's get an Ivysaur. Congratulations. Your seed evolved into Ivysaur. <laughs> uh... What a great sentence. Hi, I like shorts. Uh, average YouTube viewer? Wait. I, I have to, to, I have to, to like screenshot this. This could be useful. This could be really useful for like a YouTube short.
A, the shorts kid. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. How funny would it have been if he hadn't been, like, wearing pants? Youngster Ben. You know what? Let's... Let's try our combo on him. I want to see how well it works. This seems really useful. I mean, I probably don't need it for a level 11 Rattata, but it maybe at a gym, that this could help. I'm actually happy that missed. I got a little more health out of it. And Ekans. It has Intimidate. Okay. Well, I don't think I can use Poison Powder on an Ekans. So... I'll just have to... Is this thing resistant to vine? Does this thing uh, resist vine whip? It does. Okay. We're going to tackle. I wonder what level I, I uh, get my Venusaur at. I'm gonna guess like level 30 something. I don't believe it. How could he lose? He was wearing shorts. There are a lot of Pokemon trainers on this route. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's good XP, though, so I kind of... It'd be silly not to. Wow, four Pokemon? I might need to use one of those potions soon. Actually, I could just run back and heal. I could not waste a potion. You know what? I will run back and heal at the Pokemon Center. Why waste a perfectly good potion when it's, like, right... Like, right up the street. Oh, wait, I didn't want to do that.
So chat, have any of you ever seen uh, someone playing Pokemon doing the Iron Kaizomon challenge? That's what I was watching Small Ant doing, and it's absolutely crazy. It has like 50 different rules that you have to follow. Everything is randomized. Uh, you can't heal outside of battle. You can't use healing items. Uh, wait, rephrase that. You can't heal outside of battle. Actually, I don't think you can use any item outside of battle. You can't use any held items except for berries. Uh, it's permadeath, so if you die, you have to reset the whole run. When you go into, like, dungeons, you can't, you can't like, uh, go back in once you've gone in once. If you go into a gym, you have to beat everyone inside the gym before you're allowed to, uh... Before you're, like, allowed to leave. It's, it's like a crazy rule set. And that was only, like, six or seven rules I just listed, probably. There's, like, 40 more. He beat Pokemon... F Actually, no, it was Fire Red. He beat Fire Red uh, on a Kaizo Iron Man run, and it took him 1,700 attempts. It was it was absolutely crazy. There's a YouTube video of it and it's like really interesting. That look you gave me, it's so intriguing. Uh but it's it's like an absolutely crazy like thing to attempt to do. But it was really cool to watch. I don't think I have, uh, remotely even close, obviously, since I'm just now, like, <laughs> playing this game for the first time. I don't think I have the, uh, the skills or knowledge to attempt one, but it, in a way, it did look kind of fun, even though it was, like, actually kind of grueling. Like, I, it, obviously, it was awful. I mean, 1,700 attempts. It took him, like, 28 streams and, like, a couple months. But there was something about it that did look like... I don't know. A critical hit. Nice. I thought we were going to get to level 18. Be nice. I mean, again, you're kind of the one who attacked me. Oh, there's just a random trainer here. This one's, like, completely optional. <laughs> hey, you're not wearing shorts! What's wrong with you? Oh my gosh, there's two shorts kids. Youngster Calvin. Oh, he's got a Spiro. I hope it doesn't know Gust. Maybe we should set up. Fury attack? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Five times? Alright, you're getting poisoned. One poison powder coming up. Alright. 
Let's not get pecked again. Two. Oh, a crit. Three? Okay. I got kind of nervous there. Okay, we're fine. But I got kind of nervous. Not gonna lie. Oh, chat. By, by the by, an ad will be starting in four minutes. Lost, lost, lost. It's because you didn't, uh, you didn't believe in the shorts enough. I'm gonna heal again. That, that was kind of sketchy. I, I, I didn't think I was, uh, gonna win that for a second. Unfortunately, since I've been, uh, pretty much giving all my XP to one Pokémon, uh, if that Pokémon goes down, uh, I'm kind of just screwed. Now you might be saying, but Plum, why don't you spend the time to put some XP into your other Pokemon then? Well, I kind of just don't want to. Um, I don't. I mean, the Pikachu's okay, but I don't really have anything that I think I want long, long term. So I kind of don't want to spend the time investing the XP. I'll battle you with the Pokemon I just caught. Obviously, I'm going to take Bulbasaur all the way through, though, since he's my he's my starter. He's my boy. But I don't really think I have anything else that's worth, like, putting the time into right now. I'm going to need something that can learn Fly, though. Did I, like, miss where... Have I already gone past where, like, uh, Pidgey spawns? Because I'm going to need a flying type. I feel like I I have already gone past it. Oh boy, a Metapod. My favorite. No, we missed. Okay. Can we do it in one, or do I need two? <laughs> I, I might need three. Alright, two it is. That starts in a minute and a half, by the way. Eek, did you touch me? All of these lasses are kind of rude. Oh, hey, a Jigglypuff. I'm going to guess it's going to use Sane. It missed. All right, since I assume I'm going to get... I assume it's going to do it again. Yep. Since we're going to be asleep for a while, we may as well set up some damage over time that it can't get around.
That way I'm still getting in some damage. Alright, now we see if we wake up. Like, I could use my Awakening, but I I don't think it's worth wasting one. I'm, I'm not really in any danger here. Like, honestly, we might beat it, like, in our sleep. Like, literally. I think we are going to beat it in our sleep. That's really funny. Does it even have any attack moves? I don't... I don't know. It knew Disable, Defense Curl, and Sing. That's it? It, it had to have had it. it. It must have had one attack move, right? Anything down here? Nope. You know what? I'm gonna run in the grass. I wanna see what's in here. A manky! That's not a flying type. I'm still asleep. Oh. That's annoying. A Spiro, that's a flying type. Into the Pokeball you go. I think I have to go heal again, because... I don't want to be asleep in the next battle. Tiny bird Pokemon. Eats bugs in grassy areas. It has to flap its short wings at high speed to stay airborne. Give a nickname? You know what? Sure. We'll name you... I'll name you Sky. Welcome to the team, Sky. I don't know how long you'll be here. But you're here. Okay, we're gonna go heal again so I wake up. So I can wake up my Ivysaur. I feel like I've made, like, no progress. You know what? I have fought, fought in a lot of gym leaders. Or not gym leaders, uh, trainers. I'm sure we'll be plenty leveled for the uh, second gym. I should save, because I haven't for a minute. Just in case, I don't know, the game crashes or something. Alright. Back we go. Another battle. Ooh, I better take a west. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Oh, never mind. Route 3, Mount Moon ahead. Oh, you don't fight either. Oh, wow, that's the Boulder Badge. You got it from Brock, didn't you? Brock is cool. He's not just tough. People like and respect him. I want to become a gym leader like him. Where do I get... Where do I get the... Flash? Ouch, I tripped over a rocky Pokemon Geodude. Don't I need that? <laughs> Don't I need Flash? Hello there, laddie. Have I got a deal just for you. I'll let you have a secret Pokemon. A Magikarp for just $500. Chad, is this... Is this worth buying? <laughs> It does this game have this game has fishing and surf, right? So like I can just get a Magikarp by fishing one, right? 
I is there any reason to buy? To buy it from this guy? Like, if I wanted to get, like, a Gyarados? A Gyarados? I, I assume no. No? <laughs> this guy seems mad. Just impatient and wanting to level it now? Okay. It's like a... No, not Magikarp, but... Gyarados is, like, really good in Gen 1, right? Team Rocket attacks early in Citizens. Not a day goes by without Team Rocket being in the news. Sometimes you'll have too many Pokémon with you. To add any more, in that case, you should just store some in the PC. Okay. I don't have... the... Flash. I, I need to n n figure out where to get that. I thought I needed it for this cave. Never mind. Oh, whoa, listen to that music. Ooh, a Zubat. We could catch a Zubat. I don't know if we're gonna catch it at full health. We will, okay. The bat Pokemon. It forms colonies in perpetually dark places and use ultrasonic waves to identify and approach targets. Do you have a nickname? Yes. Uh, let's see. Beware, Zubat is a bloodsucker. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to talk. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Okay. Iris. It's a Clefairy. Uh, let's see what a Vine Whip does. I just lowered my attack. Charm. Okay, but I've been encored, so I'm, that means I do it again, right? How long does encore last for? I lost. You did. I wonder if I should have bought repels. I probably should have bought some. Blitzseed! Okay. Now we're talking. Do I learn that? Uh... I don't think that... I don't think he'll learn it naturally, right? We should seriously consider, uh... ...teaching that. Okay. 
let's think about this. It does 20 to 50 damage. And is 100% accurate. Wait, I want to look at my moves. This does 35. This only has 10, though. I'm going to say that it would be worth it to teach Bullet Seed over Vine Whip. I'm not going to get rid of Tackle, because... Uh, what if I go up against something that's resistant to Grass-type moves? So, we're going to get rid of Vine Whip. Okay. I hope that that was a good decision. If it wasn't, uh, I'm kind of locked in. Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? A Weedle. It's still resistant to grass type moves, so I can't even test out Bullet Seed on it. Combos for either more damage and or more crit potential. So still leaves it up to RNG. That's true. I'm I'm hoping it was the right choice. I if only because it has so much more uh, points. I, I feel like it'll it'll be nice just to not run out of moves so quickly. Critical hit. You got me. I probably should have bought repels. Next, I'm gonna buy some at the next town, probably. You know what, let's try Bullet Seed. It's not very effective against a Zubat. Tackle is perfectly <laughs> effective against a Zubat. That was, like, no XP. Well, in that case, it's not worth uh, the time to fight them. It's a potion! Oh, I thought you were one of Professor Oak's aides. What? Don't sneak up on me. I don't really think I did. Super nerd Jovin. Or maybe Jovan. A Magnemite? I feel like this thing's not gonna 
respond well to a bullet seed. I guess we're tackling. I missed? Wait, that doesn't confuse me, does it? No. Oh, no. Alright, new plan. This confuses. I don't think I. This thing's a steel type, right? So I. The poison powder's not gonna help me. I mean, bullet seed's probably not gonna either, but it's my best option. Five times. Four times. Oh, no, five. While confused and maybe also paralyzed? No. Alright. I mean... I mean, we're, we're good. Torb? This thing's not gonna use self destruct on me, right? Right? You're not you're not gonna do that to me, are you? You you wouldn't do that to me, would you, game? doing all right. Oh, that's not great. This might be enough. We, we might be fine. Maybe, maybe the poison will finish it? Oh my goodness. Okay. I guess we'll finish it with a tackle. Level 20. My Pokémon won't do. Oh, a rare candy. We should save that for later. That could be useful. You need to go through this cave to get to Cerulean City. Bug catcher Robbie. He has three Pokemon. Wow, five damage on a crit. Slowly but surely, we're getting strong. That was pretty good. All right. And of course, it's a Metapod. My sworn enemy. We missed? I 
I'm gonna guess we're gonna need three more tackles. That's one. That's two. And there we go. an item. I would like the item. What is it? Oh, it's an escape rope. Hi, I'm excavating for fossils here under Mount Moon. Sometimes Brock Computer Jim lends me a hand. Aren't there, like, Geodude in here? How have I not run into one yet? I've only run into Zubats. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. Miriam. It's an Oddish, another thing that resists my Grass-type moves. Actually, I think... Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna miss a tackle, don't worry. I don't know what that does. Alright, my evasiveness fell. Well, that's not gonna do a lot. My 1 HP! How dare you. <laughs> My other HP! Bellsprout. Can we have some Pokémon that are weak to Grass-type moves? Oh, I lost it. I haven't gone down any of these little ladders. Oh, it's a Paris! Uh, you know what? And it's kind of creepy looking. We should catch it. Just to say we did. into the Pokeball. There we go. A mushroom Pokemon. Burrows to suck tree roots. The mushrooms on its back grow by drawing nutrients from the bug host. That is disturbing. I'm, let's see, not sure if this was just a baby placebo I did as a kid or an actual thing, but I think the smaller rooms have a bigger, have a better Geodude chance. It, oh, okay. We will find out. Uh, what do we name this? Your name is going to be Sport. <laughs> I need to go down those ladders. Really wish I had repels, though. 
Youngster Josh sent out Rattata. All right, now we can use Bullet Seed. Okay, if we land three of these, I think we'll be good. Okay, well, we could land two. That's also fine. I hope it's something that doesn't resist. Okay, good. Oops. Another Rattata. I use Bullet. Oh, a crit. Perfect. This should get us to level 21. Perfect. Nope. Oh, wait, this thing resists. I... That was a bad decision. I forgot I needed to use Tackle. Losing stinks, it's so uncool. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. Okay, now him, I actually did kind of shock. I did sneak up on him. Hiker Marcos. Oh, a Geo dude. That was not the right Pokemon to bring. Wow. Another Geodude. I hope he has a third Geodude. One. That's all we need. I was kind of hoping it would be able to tank more than one. Wow, shocked again. A moonstone. Okay, I think we have to we we have to start going down these ladders now. Another Zubat. Get out of here, Zubat. Guess we'll take this one. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I thought this... For some reason, I thought the room was empty. The Paris. We will be leaving. Hey, a Geo dude. The rock Pokemon are found in fields and mountains. Mistaking them for boulders, people often step or trip on them. We will give it a name. Um, because you are small and relatively weak, your name is Pebble. 
Into the box you go. Alright, I assume I've seen everything that's in Mount Moon. Like, as far as wild Pokemon goes. Oh, a revive! That's actually very nice. I am wrong. There's a Clefairy. We are going to catch this. Okay, let's try a first turn Pokeball just to see if we get lucky. Alright, we caught a Clefairy. Fairy Pokemon. With its magical and cute appeal, it has many admirers. It is rare and found only in certain areas. Yes. We will name you... New Fae. Clef Clefairy seems like a pretty good Pokemon, actually. Oh. I guess we're going to start running into Team Rocket now. So, uh, if I give a Moonstone to it, it, it'll it evolve, right? Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. Team Rocket Crunch. One bullet seed. Can I get more than uh, two? <laughs> Did you know if you press down, down B at the right time, you increase the cat the cat chance? My big brother told me so. I remember when I was a kid, so many people like were saying stuff like the like that. Like, no, did you know there's... You can totally increase the chance. Level 22. Seed is trying to learn Razor Leaf. The lead a move to make room for Razor Leaf? Okay, now, now it's actually kind of hard. Shoot, now, now I actually don't know what I should do. Um... It has a high crit ratio. It's got a pretty good amount of points. It's pretty hard to miss with. It's got a good crit rate. I mean, it's. I'll have stab with it. I don't want to drop leech seed or poison powder though. Chat, would I be would I be crazy to to drop tackle? I I know that. <sighs> The problem is I won't have any way of dealing with m things that resist Grass-type moves. I don't want to get rid of Bullet Seed, though, because I I used my my TM on, on Seed. But Razor Leaf just seems like something too good to pass up. I, I don't know what I should do here. I do know what I should do. I should... I, I should drop... I should get rid of Bullet Seed, huh? I, I'm, I'm looking at it. I, I don't want to get rid of it because I, like, just got it, but the right answer is to get rid of Bullet Seed, isn't it? I mean, I know this has 100% accuracy, and this has 95, so, like, there's a 5% chance I miss, but... It has a high crit chance, and its default power 
is more than this thing can do if it lands every hit, not counting the crits. I gotta drop Bullet Seed. I'm steamed. Yeah, that was the right choice. I didn't want to do it, but it logically it was really the only thing I could do. Am I going to wrap around the whole cave? I really wish I had taken uh, some repels. All right, here's our plan. We're going to do this to speed this up. OK, now we'll go back. We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokémon from them will earn us huge riches. Have I ever seen the original Geodude? I don't know if I have. Like, from the original, like, red and blue? I don't think I have. I'm gonna look. Pokémon Red. Geodude. What the heck? I've never seen... I've never seen that before. Oh, wait, I'm in a trainer battle. What am I doing? I got... I forgot where I was. Uh, that's crazy. I've never seen the original Geodude sprite. It does kind of look like a pompadour. And... I forgot. Oh, no. No, I, for I forgot. You know what? I'm leech seeding. Please don't miss. Crit. Wow, that was kind of a waste of my uh, leech seed, <laughs> but that's okay. Er, now I'm mad. I haven't saved for a minute. We should do that. Let me guess, you're going to attack me. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Well, that's where you're wrong. Super Nerd Miguel. Oh, a Grimer. I think I have to tackle, right? There's no way that Razor Leaf's going to be very useful. Okay. So this is going to be... Maybe we'll use Leech Seed, actually. To try to eke out a little more damage. Okay, well, good thing I'm not going to use that again. I have so few tackles left, I'm gonna have to use a Razor Leaf. I don't want to waste them. 
Oh, I think we'll be okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. No, I will not change Pokemon. You're getting Leech Seeded. I am not going to use Leech Seed. I'm going to use Razor Leaf. Oh, imagine if that had been a crit. That would have been so nice. Voltor. Okay, no, we, we should be fine. We'll use a Leech Seed just to be safe. We're about to get a fossil, right? One of the two that it mentioned in the museum, right? Uh, do I want Aerodactyl or do I want Kabuto? Or is it Kabutops? I actually don't know how you pronounce it. Which one should I take? Yet again, I wasted time by setting up. I keep thinking I should set up, and then I don't need to. Okay, I'll share. <laughs> we'll each take a fossil. No being greedy. Uh, okay. Oh. Never mind, this is going to be Kabuto and no Omastar? Uh, I think the one you get from the lab is Aerodactyl, actually, is on a permanent to get through. No, I, I, think I'm, I think this is either the Dome and Helix fossil. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out who's better to get. We'll take the Helix Fossil. I don't know which is which. I'll take the helix. It's another Clefairy. I don't need another one. So we're leaving. I'll take the antidote. Oh. We made it through Mount Moon. A double battle? I'm going to save before I walk up there. Looks kind of dangerous. Hello, Decker! It's good to see you. How are you doing? 
Oh. A kick of brutal ferocity, packed with destructive power. When you get right down to it, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Don't you agree? He'll teach me. A punch of roaring ferocity, packed with destructive power. Mega Punch! Good, I saw the surprise stream announcement and thought I'd pop in. Well, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. I don't think I can teach that to either of my Pokemon. Or, I don't think I can teach either of those moves to any of these Pokemon. And I don't think I want to. We'll come back, maybe, if I remember. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, that was not the right way. Oh my goodness. This grass looks interesting. It's just a Spearow. Okay. We will run. Am I in Cerulean City now? Oh my goodness, we made it. You're making an encyclopedia on Pokemon? That sounds amusing. <laughs> okay, way to sound kind of like you were... That guy kind of sounded like he was belittling me a little bit. How amusing. Bill has lots of Pokemon. He collects rare ones, too. That Bill. I heard that he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. You sound above doing all sorts of things, I've heard. Okay, that's... That's not great. Uh, why don't you go upstairs and try trading Pokémon with your friends? <laughs> well, if I could, I would consider it. Have you heard about Bill? Yes, I've heard so much about him. Everyone calls him a Pokémaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill, though. Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokémon? Okay, maybe we'll change out what we have in our party now. Even though I'm kind of solo running. Whoops. Has there been any other Pokémon implied to be from space like Clefairy? I know there have been ones that come from the veils between realities. Um, well, I mean, I guess Deoxys comes from space. I don't know about any other ones, though. Uh, I think Weedle might need to go, actually. Too much overlap. Let's do some withdrawing. We'll take Geodude for now, and we'll take Clefairy for now. Continue box operations? No! Now... I should... I'm gonna save first, in case I regret do doing this. I have a Moonstone, so I should be able to level up my Clefairy, right? Or Clefable, whichever it is. I should be able to evolve it into the other one. Right? Moonstone was used on Fey. That seemed like a good idea.
Congratulations! Hey, I have a Clefable now! Well, alright then. Can I get a bike? These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. A plain city bike is good enough for me. After all, you can't put a shopping basket on a mountain bike. Hi, welcome to our bike shop. That says that's a million dollars. <sighs> um, sir, your bikes are a million dollars? What? Okay, Slowbro, you Sonic Boom. Come on, Slowbro, pay attention. Do you know about Rare Candy? They don't sell it in shops. I think it makes Pokemon grow very quickly. Yes. And I have one. Repel not only keeps bugs away, it also works on weak Pokemon. Oh, if your first Pokemon is strong, Repel's effect is boosted? I never knew that. Um, let's get some more Pokeballs. Because we don't have very many. We'll buy... I don't know. We'll buy like eight. And let's get some repels. I don't know, we'll get like five. Actually, we'll get like ten. Since I'm fighting like every trainer I see, there's not really any reason to be doing the wild Pokemon except to catch them. You're a trainer, too. Collecting, battling, it's a tough life, isn't it? Uh... I would like to get cut. My husband likes trading Pokémon. You're collecting Pokémon for your Pokédex, aren't you? Would you please trade with him? Maybe? Hello there, do you happen to have a Poliwhirl? I do not. I... I simply couldn't, even if I wanted to. Did I go up here? No, I don't think I've gone up here yet. Only skill trainers can collect Pokémon badges. I see you have at least one. Those badges have amazing secrets, did you know? Now then. As long as you move Flash. That ma it makes your Pokémon stronger. Interesting. What was the point of coming back here? <laughs> there didn't seem to be any uh, reason to go into his backyard. I concoct a variety of medicine from berry powder. Using good berry powder, I can make any kind of medicine. Now tell me. I do have interest in berries. Why must you lie? I don't want... Okay, I guess he... <laughs> I call myself a berry enthusiast. I don't have a single berry. The people here were robbed. It's obvious the Team Rocket is behind this, this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. I believe there's one right there. Oh. Yo, Plum! You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught. Well, alright, I guess we're going into a rival battle. I just kind of wanted to see what was over here. Uh, maybe we set up? <laughs> I'm only five levels up on him, and it's going to use Gust. Okay, we'll try a... We'll try a Razor Leaf. Let's just see. Maybe it'll crit.
I missed. <sighs> that darn sand attack. Okay. This will probably do it. Wow, he's going straight into Charmander. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use a potion. I don't know what he's. I don't, I don't know what what kind of damage he can do. It's a fairly reasonable amount. We're gonna heal. Oh my goodness. We're gonna poison. As long as he doesn't crit me, I think we'll be okay, because I'll probably just potion again. I'm gonna just potion. Yeah, we're gonna potion. Should have bought more. After this battle, I'm gonna go buy some more potions. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to potion again. Okay, that's fine. We have two more potions. Well, now we have one more, but we're we're tanking through all of this all this ember. Okay, now I'm gonna hit him with a tackle. Oops. This should take him out, right? Yes. Abra. We should be fine against an Abra, right? Yep, we're totally fine. How about you send out a rock type? Or maybe a water type? No, just a Rattata. Was there ever any doubt? Hey, take it easy. You won already. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokémon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokédex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokémaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC, too. As you're using a system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present. Game checker? A chatty gossip like you. That thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. All right. This time I really am gone. I don't know what that... I'm gonna heal. I don't know what that means. We're gonna go buy some potions.
I'm going the wrong way. There we go. By the way, chat ads are starting. Just so you all know. Super potion. We'll buy... Oh, oh man, that's expensive. We'll buy one super potion. Okay. Bill must be up, up over this bridge, right? Um, maybe we'll fight the gym first. Yeah. We'll do the gym. Yo, champ in the making. The leader Misty is a pro who uses water-type Pokémon. You can drain all their water with grass-type. Or you might use electric-type and zap them. Splash. I'm first up. Let's do it. Okay. This should be really easy. Alright, I'm expecting to just breeze through this gym. But it can, and it is. What? You? I'm more than good enough for you. Misty won't have to be bothered. Okay, that was pretty rude. For that, Razor Leaf. Picnicker Diana. She has a single Pokemon. It will not be enough. Tisk tisk. You overwhelm me. Three hundred and eighty dollars. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all out offensive with water type Pokemon. Leader Misty. Oh, it outspeeds me. <laughs> All right. So far, so good. That was that was nothing. We're a okay. Oh wow! It sur it it survived a hit. And easy. Starmie faded. Level twenty five. And Misty is defeated. Wow, you're too much. All right, that was that was very easy. You can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. Twenty-one hundred dollars. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level thirty obey. That includes even outsiders who've gotten traits. There's more. You can now use Cut, even out of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM. Water Pulse. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. 
Okay. We can't get in the water. You beat Misty! You and me, kid, we make a pretty darn good team. Alright. We've got two badges down already. Not bad. Well, only one direction to go, I think. We'll save first. I still don't have Flash or Cut, though. I kind of feel like I should have gotten them. People call this the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Four bugs. Oh my goodness, I missed. I've missed so many tackles in the last couple hours. I will not change Pokemon. Oh, we might be able to take it in two. That would be pretty great. We got it in two. Let's go. Okay, Kakuna. We're gonna get it in two as well. Perfect. Alright. I'm second. Now it's serious. Okay, so I have to do five. I hope they don't all have, like, four. Okay, well, this is three. That is less than four. I need an offensive poison move to replace poison powder. That would be really big for me. Oddish. I missed another tackle. I'm gonna lose one HP. another HP. I missed an another tackle, please. Okay, not this time. Bell Sprout. Nope, we're just gonna keep powering through with tackle. Nothing can defeat tackle. Alright. 
How could I lose? How could you lose? Alright. Another bug catcher? Youngster Timmy. Oh, this will be easy. Thank goodness. Razor Leaf. Oh my goodness, it missed. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. And level 27. No, 26. Ekans. No. We will continue using Bo Ivysaur. We're in Elite Seed, actually. Because I know it's probably going to use Wrap. And we tackle. Forget if Ivy Venusaur can learn Toxic from level. Pretty sure it can from a TM. Uh, that would be amazing. I would, I would love to teach it Toxic. If I get it from a TM, that would be awesome. I wonder where it is, though. Ow, stomped flat. Is that the Riddler back there? I'm number four, getting tired. Nidoran. I guess we tackle. Oh yeah, we take that. Easy. And talk one tackle. Last tackle. And it crits. Nice. Alright. Okay, I'm number five. I'll stop you. Will you? Camper Ethan. It's a minky. Let's see how it likes Razor Leaf. Alright. 
one shot. Whoa, too much. You're right, that was a bit of overkill. I did my best. Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. A nugget. By the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Wanna join? You sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh. I... I see. He was like, hey, do you want to be a criminal? That's your prize. Let's see how Razor Leaf works on Ekans. Honestly, totally fine. Maybe Razor Leaf will do okay on Zubat too, then. No. Not even close. Alright, tackle it is. Aw, oh, no. Okay, we just need to hit this one tackle and we're good. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, you are good. I sure am. With your ability, you'd become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. Don't let this chance go to waste. I think I gotta go back and recover at the... Pokemon Center. That used so many, uh... That used so much of my, uh, points. Let's see if we can find Bill. Let's see. Taking off for the night was fun stopping by. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Thanks for chatting. And for the, uh, for the tips. Have a good night. Is there anything on the left? There's a trainer. Oh my gosh, who sees me from a mile away? Dang. I saw your feet from the grass. You saw my feet from the grass? How does that work? Well, how does that work? Wait, was it the other kind of feet? Did I misread it? Was it like F-E-A-T? That would make a little more sense. Ekans. Okay. We just fought an Ekans. Razor Leaf should work. It's not very effective, but that's okay. We should be able to get it in two. Razor Leaf. Uh, 
All right, maybe this time. Oh, so close to a level. What do you mean you thought not? It's a Pidgey. Have I caught a Pidgey yet? I don't think I have. Let's try to ca catch a Pidgey. No, I had not got one. Common sight in forest and woods. It flaps its wings at ground level to kick up blinding sand. Yes. Let's see. We need to give this Pidgey a name. Um... Let's name her... We'll name her Breeze. Oh, there's not an item down there. I was kind of hoping. Alright, and we run. We found a tract. That's a lot of trainers. Oh my goodness, it's so many trainers. One, two, three, four, f at least five. That's so many. Oh, well. I just got down from Mount Moon, but I've still got gas in the tank. I want to get to Bill. Is he not this way? Oh, Machop. I think this is the first time we've seen a Machop. Unfortunately, it's not ready for Razor Leaf. Worked hard. I suppose so. Local trainers come here to practice. A Rattata! Alright. And I'm 12 levels up on it. Spiro. Um, still twelve levels on it. I think Razor Leaf's fine. Oh, a crit.
You're decent. Wow, really? You hit me with a decent? I, I beat you. Dad took me to a great party on the SSN at Vermilion City. Youngster Dan. A slowpoke. Okay. I think this is our first time fighting one in battle. It's a water type. Easy. I'm not mad. Oh, that's good. Good on you for not being mad. Did I fight the guy down here? No, I didn't. You're going to see Bill. First, we battle. There's so many people in between Vermilion and... Or not Vermilion. Uh... Oh gosh, what is it? Cer... Cerulean. There's so many people between there and Bill. Onyx was a bad choice. I'm not gonna lie, my dude. Shouldn't have sent out an Onyx. You're something. Oh my gosh, there's still so many people. Hi, my boyfriend is cool. That's nice. <laughs> you just lead with that? We'll, we will tackle. And a crit. And we'll tackle. We missed a tackle. So close to level 28. My conditioning isn't the best. Oh my goodness. I'm off to see a Pokemaniacs collection at the Cape. Yeah, so is everybody, apparently. Hiker Knob. Oh my gosh, he has four Pokemon. A super effective crit. Easy. That'll get us to 28. No new move. Another Geodude. You'd love to see it. Another super effective crit. Does this guy just have Geodudes? Another Geodude? No, my job. Chop painted. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't read what he said. Shoot. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Oh! You were with Kelsey. Camper Flint.
Dude, it's kind of a slog getting through, uh... Getting through all the way to, uh... To Bill. Oh, Razor Leaf. Okay, now we'll probably tackle. Aw, darn. Okay, now that he's moved, we can take whatever this was. Secret power. Another trainer. I had this feeling. I knew I had to battle you. Yeah, everyone who sees me seems to think they need to battle me. Youngster Chad? This kid's a Chad. miss on a 5% chance. Now our chance of missing it is a lot higher. Okay, we're good. I knew I'd lose too. Wow, he knew he would lose, but he still fought me. Oh my gosh. My friend has mini cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. Okay. Is this the last one before Bill? Last Haley. Oddish. We tackle. That was weird. Hey, G. Okay. We'll use a uh, tackle. And another tackle. And a tackle. Sweet scent. That was the move that it just used on me, right? I don't need that. Lowering evasiveness. Oh. Wait. Stop me trying to learn it? Yes. We don't need that. I'm not so jealous. Alright, I mean, you're the one who told me you were. Did these two fight me? <laughs> this cape is a famous date spot. Initially, the gym leader has high hopes about this place. <laughs> Hello, are you here alone? If you're out at Cerulean's cape, well, it should be as a couple. Okay, wow. Oh, well, we made it to Bill's house. Bill? Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Why are you a... Clefairy? 
Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here. Okay. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Plum initiated this teleporter cell separator. What the heck? He turned himself into a Pokemon? Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So did you come to say come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here, maybe this will do. SS ticket. Oh, this is how you get on the boat. That cruise ship, SS Anne, is in Vermilion City. I hear there are lots of trainers on board, too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? Go and have a good time. Okay. anything to interact with in here? I'm gonna go with a no. Okay, well that was worth it. Since I needed to do it to progress the plot, I imagine. Alright. I think we're gonna go back and use the Poké Center. And I think we might wrap up for the day. I think that's what we're gonna- oh, they moved! Interesting. Alright. Yes, please heal my Pokémon. We hope to see you again. Okay, we will save. Alright, chat. We're gonna wrap up. So... There we go. Let me... Close out of the game. There we go. That was a lot of fun. Uh, it's a fun game. Uh, it's a little... I feel like I didn't make a lot of like progress into the game since I played for, what, three and a half hours and I'm only... I only made it through the second gym. It's probably because I keep fighting all of the, the trainers, but... I'm kind of doing a solo run right now, so I feel like I need the XP just to be safe. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to stream again next. Uh, I want to finish playing this, uh, but I, I don't really have a schedule right now, so I, I really don't know. It... Who knows, honestly. It could be tomorrow, uh, but hopefully sometime this week. Uh, I don't know if I'll announce it that ahead of time. I might just uh, do what I did today and make a uh, a tweet and just say, "Hey, I'm going. I'm going live." But yeah, thank you so much, everybody who joined me today. I really appreciated it. Uh, you know what's crazy? Uh, my one year stream anniversary is coming up in like a week. I think. I want to say it's a week from tomorrow. I could be wrong. I'd have to check, but I think my I think I debuted on March 11th or around then. I'll, I'll have to look, but it's it's kind of a shame that a lot of this last year was me being on like breaks, but 
I'm excited for the one year anniversary. I definitely want to do something on that day. I don't know what, what yet, but I want to do something fun. So we'll have to see what that is. But yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, you know what? We... We should raid. I, I haven't raided in so long, and I know exactly who I want to raid. So, I, I think we're gonna raid. Uh, we're gonna raid into Fasani, who is really cool. I really like her. Uh... She is a, like a, like a, kind of like an elf gem golem, uh, VTuber. She's like a really comfy, wholesome streamer. Uh, I like her a lot. Raptor likes her a lot. Uh, she also, uh, was very nice and, uh, gave Raptor her VGen key, uh, which meant a lot to us. So we're going to raid into her. She looks like she's playing Lethal Company, which is always entertaining to watch. There we go. All right, everybody. We're going to raid into Fasani. Uh, let's uh, hit her with a crab raid. Uh, use those dancing crab emotes if you have them. And uh, I'll see you all uh, later. I hope you all have a good night. Thanks again.